Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Mr. Bob 101. I'm the lead scripter here at Ziz Parks, one of the developers working alongside One Wolf, One Person, and Indie Raccoon, aka Crow underscore Crow. Uh, today I'm doing the first of a mini series for Wolf Ridge, in which I give some tips and tricks, kind of walk you through how to get up on your feet. Um, and uh, just give you guys a nice little tutorial here. Uh, as I know, this game has a very steep learning, learning curve, um, and I think it's important to be able to have some form of video out there. There aren't a lot that kind of just explains how you get through the process. So here we go. So uh, if you're new to the game, you won't see this the first time. Uh, it will immediately go to the tutorial and you'll be asked to pick a bike so we're gonna skip this process since we've already played but I'll jump into the tutorial here you can always play the tutorial again if you ever need help after that it will come up to this screen right here uh, if you've played the game before but never have played Wolfridge 2.0 you'll see a gray loading screen here and that's just converting all of your data so let's start off with bike spawning. Here we are at the base of the mountain in front of the bike store. We're gonna click here and we're gonna come over towards this red diamond. Once you're here, you're gonna just click on the spawner and you're gonna have a bike pop out. We have the same default bike for everyone that pops out during the tutorial and then your profile will load afterwards. You're gonna come over here to the lift so this is a really important part. As you get better at the game, you'll be able to purchase lift tickets. What this does is it unlocks more of the map for you. Now, the way we've set up Wolf Ridge, we wanna make this as good as possible for everyone. The way we've set this up is uh, you cannot spawn or teleport to the, you can't spawn a, a chair on any of the lifts besides blue and soon to be yellow, which when that is finished, uh, unless you have unlocked it. You can't teleport to the top either unless you've unlocked and you've paid for the ticket. However, you can ride up on a chair with a friend if uh, they spawn a chair. We've done this because we want people to be able to branch out even if they are not necessarily the proper level yet. But we also do this as we feel it adds a little bit of extra motivation to the game. And we think it makes sense considering that these lifts do get progressively harder. Um, but once you've leveled up, the first level would be five. You can co go over, it would be the purple lift, and then you'll click on the ticket window and it will give you a prompt to purchase it. Here we are now in front of the blue lift. Now we're gonna click on this trail map. There's usually three buttons down here, but you'll notice the difference. Since I've already had it on these lifts unlocked, they're appearing here, but if you're new to the game, you won't see anything. This is the trail map. You can move around with UJ, H and K, so you know where you are. Let's click here and teleport to blue. Uh, all these people here. Um, usually I'm a lot more talkative, so. Um, so here we are at the top, the blue lift. I think it's important to note uh, that uh, we did change our easiest way down from uh, Wolfridge 1 to Wolfridge 2. Originally, you would take Route 66 by going down that way. Uh, someone just, oh gosh. Um, but we now have it instead bypass that route, which is a little bit tricky with some of the bridges, and instead you cross cut over to Lower Chicken. So now we're gonna come over here and spawn our bike again and hop on and then we'll be prompted again. Um, all right, so a green is of course the easiest trail. Greens usually have very mild elements, very minimal jumps. Um, it's not really a technical trail, um, usually not very steep at all. There sometimes will be barriers, in fact, to protect the person. You have very low liability when you spin out of having any issues. Once you get into blue, you'll start getting some more jumps. We do have some blues that have quite a few jumps. So blue technical trails, or sorry, I guess you could say blue freestyle trails. You'll usually, you can tell the difference. Um, we'll have a lot more jumps and whatnot, whereas a blue technical trail, uh, you can't, the signage doesn't indicate a difference, but you can usually see just by looking at it. A blue technical trail, just like real life, is going to be more rooty, natural versus a, a, uh, 
a blue freestyle trail which is more flowy with jumps and whatnot then we go up to black that's where you're going to really start seeing roots on the technical tra trails and you're going to start seeing a lot more berms and you're going to start seeing a lot more bigger features on the freestyle trails double black is going to be your most rooty for technical it's going to be the steepest you might have to be very careful when sliding out it might be on the edge you know there's a couple that are on the edge of cliffs uh, and then in terms of technical trails this is where you see things like root canal where you, you can go really flying um and those ones are definitely more dangerous and then pro line is the most dangerous these are are the, the hardest i should say these ones you're gonna have the biggest jumps the most difficult features and whatnot all right let's do this so this is the fun part you're gonna to want to i recommend don't don't bike like this press p to go into first person it's a lot easier and now we're gonna follow the easiest way down signs just keep passing all these trails be careful there are some warning signs back there um, you may run into bikers coming down so just be careful and, and and even though you can't necessarily look up i mean just be careful you might see some bikers coming by and you're going to cross cut all the way up over here so this we're approaching the purple lift which is the second lift to unlock which does go higher and it's going to intersect with lower chicken which we're going to take down on the left here as you can see in the bottom of my screen we also have a gear thing which i can increase basically the gear thing is like top speed you can press q to lower it and e to raise it if you have a higher gear you're going to move faster when you hold down w lower gear you're not going to move as fast uh, you can disable this in the bike shop, which I'll explain more in a little bit by clicking single speed under the stats menu. So here we are at chicken, just so I can give you a little point of reference. The purple lift chicken goes up and meets with all along the watchtower, and you can see the watchtower up there. Uh, and this is the lower section of the trail, which will drop us out right at the bottom of the orange lift and the base area. If you were to continue going straight, you won't hit any more greens. You'll hit eventually the blue you'll hit a trail that takes you down to the white and green trails or chairs excuse me which are a little bit more difficult and, and in fact actually the white and green chairs you don't unlock until you're pretty high level um as the trails over there are generally more speaking <clears throat> generally speaking more difficult as well as the gondola which i'll go on in a later video in the series so let's let's go down chicken here um, a few tips. Number one, when you're going down a trail, make sure you tilt using H and K. I see a lot of people spinning out and they, they question as to why um, this happens. Um, it's mostly because you're, you're just kind of using your tilting and not, or you're using your steering and not your tilting enough. If you were moving really fast on a bike in real life and you were to suddenly move your handlebars you're going to go flying no you have to kind of lean into it and be gentle it's the same thing with mountain biking it's the same thing in wolf ridge so definitely use tilting as you can see here or you will spin out also go slow there's no reason to go fast when you're on a really windy trail or if you're new um, you will spin out and on like this this is an example of spinning out and if you're on a more difficult trail you might go flying off um, which is obviously more annoying so like right now I'm not even pressing the W uh, in fact the only time at key I'm pressing a key would be S but besides that, I'm tapping the W uh, and D keys uh, I didn't really have to do any tilting on that trail because it wasn't too steep but uh, this just gives you a little general gist here let's go over to the base area and we're gonna get jumped off right here all right our stats are gonna appear on the left is our mons this is where you can buy lifts this is where you can buy new bikes upgrade stuff buy slots um uh, soon we're gonna have clubs we're gonna have race suits stuff like that you can buy with mons basically it's the currency of the game and on the right you have your experience so you need this to unlock new lifts new clubs new bikes etc uh, so this is just what correlates to your level and then, of course, this is your level. This is the time. So right now, the day-night cycle uh, is disabled. Um, we will eventually re-enable it or give you the ability to, but if this time is different, that's just the indicate, indication of the in-game time. So right now, the three ways um, you can earn time, actually, I guess you could say two ways at the moment, are time trials and riding from the jump GUI. Uh, um races are currently disabled i have to f work on those um, which will be coming back at a later date which is basically you can race against your friends and whatnot um 
So right now, time trials and by riding. There will be other ways in the future. So this is a time trial. The way you do it, as you can see, someone named Soccer Magic did Valley Blues here. Is trails with time trials. You see, see this wooden board here. Um, this is per server stats. So they reset when the server shuts down. We're going to eventually have global stats and whatnot. Um, but for now, oh, it's starting to snow. We do have weather. Um, 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 sorry, I was just looking at the chat a little bit. <laughs> They're going crazy. Um, but yeah, you can click on it and it will give you an info screen on how to do it and you'll see some waypoints once that starts in a timer. So that's one way you can get rewards and the others by Jump GUIs. If you come over here into the bike shop, this is where you can customize your bike and whatnot. But you can click on the back wall to do so. I'll go over that in more detail in a moment, but just finish the tutorial here. These are clubs. These are not implemented as of this video's upload date. However, we are working on them and they're coming soon. This will give you special rewards and whatnot, uh, special suits, um, bonuses, etc. We'll have more info on that once they come out. And usually there's a really pretty like image right now, but unfortunately it's kind of... Uh, foggy so you can't see it but usually you can see peak b in the background and part of the green lift and the gondola uh, unfortunately right now you can't but for those wondering this is root canal right here this is a double black freestyle trail um off of the purple lift you can access it just by going up to the purple lift and taking a u-turn and this is of course the famous watchtower so we've completed the tutorial, so I thought I would come over here. As you can see, we have these two buttons here. Save stats at the moment is disabled because we, we, we uh, save your stats in a specific way. We might eventually bring it back, we'll see. Of course, we have our trail map. You can also access your trail map by pressing M and then the spawn bike button. If we click on this wall, we'll see we have our bike shop. So right now I have my favorite bike, which is Bob's favorite, but I also have King Bob and I have hero which is the, my joke bike I really like this one I actually am kind of curious as to why my bike was that color before I'll need to do some investigations as to why my bike was that color oh maybe I had this bike enabled I'm not too sure um, but let's let's say we, we do we do go this bike let's say we want to change the aesthetics we can come over here and let's say we want to change the front part so that would be our frame uh, I believe uh, actually no it would be the fork so we click on fork and then let's say we want to make it bright green there's our bright green we could also change it to a blue let's do that and then our frame which is that middle one as you can see is, is this blue right there um, this part of the bike is not colorable some of the bikes don't have all colorable parts, but that's that. In terms of stats, you can enable your single speed there. You can change your weight. Um, in terms of spinning out, the lower your turn angle, the less aggressive your bike will be when turning. Um, so in some instances, that means you might be less prone to spinning out, but that means you'll have to hold the key more and tilt more when going around corners. A weight is pretty self-explanatory. A heavier bike is gonna be, you know, it's gonna feel heavier. Traction, I would just leave this at two unless you really know what you're doing. Um, the maximum is two. Um, if you want to mess with it, be my guest, but you might be more prone to s slipping out. Um, tilt multiplier, pretty self-explanatory. It's how much aggressiveness there is in your tilting. Slide multiplier, I get a lot of questions about that. It's basically how much your bike's gonna slide. In general, you shouldn't really touch this as if you start to increase it, you're gonna be more prone to slipping out. Other than that, uh, the other thing is suspension. I rarely touch suspension just because I'm, uh, even though I do mountain bike in real life, I'm not the best at that. Um, but in general, uh, compression, it's just how much your, your, your coil is gonna compress. Rebound is kind of how much force in terms of when it rebounds. Dampening is kind of how soft it is, how much it's gonna dampen the force when compressed. 
Um, so you can experiment with that. Just note that if you do not, not do that properly, your bike might become unusable. And in that case, what you would do is come up to name and reset and you would click the reset button to reset all your, set all your stats to default. The one thing I will note very quickly is by default, the speed of your bike is gonna be two. You should definitely increase that speed or else it's gonna feel, feel really slow regardless of your gear level. And you won't be able to do any of the large freestyle trails um, or big jump trails if you don't have a high enough speed. Uh, so definitely increase that as you feel more comfortable. If you try to go too high, there will be a warning as there are maximums on some of these things. Make sure you save your changes at the end. It will prompt you though in case you did not, if you if you forget. And then the other important thing, make sure you select the bike. Oh, that glitched out right there. Oh, weird. I'll have to take a look later. Make sure you select your bike at the end because uh, if not, it won't spawn. Now if I click spawn bike, uh, there we go. So this is a very interesting bug. Um, Bob's favorite, my bike right there. It's a different color here than it is in that. Very interesting. I'll make sure I uh, check the spawn logs. I think there might be some differentials in terms of the aesthetics. changes there I'm not too sure what what was going on it might just be a lighting thing to be quite honest with you I'm not too sure it might just be a per bike thing um, but yeah so that's really it for the tutorial um, I will do more videos uh, that kind of do some free riding and whatnot so I can show you specific trails and as you get better show you what you can do um, but that will just be it for the first tutorial video getting through the the main tutorial and some of that stuff thanks guys for watching if you have any questions please let us know in the wolfridge discord we're pretty laid back we'll we'll interact with you as long as you're not weird <laughs> no i'm just kidding we're all very weird um if you have any feedback you can leave it there thanks so much for playing wolfridge we really appreciate it uh Hopefully I'll see you guys sometime in game soon. Thanks.